Alright guys, Gary aka Hopeless back again. In this video we're we'll looking at how I painted this stone troll. Uh, this is an SDL file from a company called Print My Minis. It's from the creators of Atlantis Miniatures. Uh, they have just started a subscription service. Uh, I'll put a link down below. This is one of the free samples you get when you sign up for their newsletter. The newsletter itself is time limited, so uh, it, depending on when you see this video it may or may not still be available, but uh, like it. Also included in the newsletter were the files for the giant and the war bear. Um, I do have the giant printed off so uh, I may do a video on that one as well. It looks quite nice, it really does. I do have pictures of the giant over on my Instagram account so if you want to see what that looks like uh, go pop over there or pop onto the website and have a look for yourself. All of the files are pre-supported, so it's a simple job of uh, downloading, slicing, and then popping into your printer. After doing my standard black undercoat with a white zener for highlights, I sort of struggled to think of how to paint a stone troll, because I'll be honest, I've never actually painted one before, so uh, this was a new experience for me. But after an obscene amount of coffee, I came up with an idea that I actually liked. I also decided that I was going to do the entire project using nothing but Insta Alpha paints. So with that in mind, I grabbed my airbrush and grabbed Insta Alpha's Sea Green for the skin. If you weren't aware, Insta Alpha paints are pre-finned and go down really nicely. This is actually the first time that I've uh, properly used my airbrush for more than just the base coat. When that was dry, I grabbed the dark tan and used that on his belly, chest and chin, sort of like the soft parts of his body. I think this came out pretty well. Like I said, I'm not too confident using the airbrush to do this sort of stuff. Um, so there were a couple of splotchy patches, but I did manage to go over and even them out a bit. After that, I grabbed the pure black and water plus to make a wash to go over the skin. Uh, Instar's Water Plus is a really nice additive. When it's used with the Alpha range, it can turn their paints into washes, glazes, and even contrast paints. It's something I'm trying to get used to using, so I'm not so reliant on uh, Games Workshop's contrast paint range. I then wanted to work on the skin, do a bit of highlighting, and I thought of uh, mixing in a little bit of pure white with sea green, so there'd be a little, little bit of contrast in there. It came out alright. If I did it again, I'd probably add a little bit more white. It's probably a little too samey. Doesn't really come out too well in the video, but uh, in pictures and in person, you can see there's a difference. Grabbing the pure red, I then moved on to my least favourite job on any mini of paint, and that's trying to do the eyes. So using the smallest brush I own, I managed to get in there and uh, not make too much of a hatchet job of it. For the teeth and nails, I used dead flesh. Nice and simple. Before I started painting the mini, I saw that he had all of these little stone outcrops all over his shoulders and his back, and I thought that would look absolutely amazing if I painted every single one of those individually. And uh, for that I used cement grey, and I'm going to be honest, this took far longer than I thought it would. Once that was all done, I grabbed a lot of coffee to top up my caffeine levels, and then did the loincloth in pure oxide red. For his club I used milk chocolate, so it's quite a nice brown, it's not too light, it's not too dark, and uh, with a wash over it, it looks pretty nice. I wanted to do something with his toenails, um, for some reason I thought a yellow wash would make him look suitably disgusting, so I grabbed pure oxide yellow and added some water plus to it. Unfortunately it came out too bright, so uh, this doesn't stay on the model for too long. As the yellow wash was drying, I went over it again with dead flesh, and the result actually came out quite nicely. Not too bright, not too dull, a little bit horrible, but still room for improvement. After everything was dried, I looked at the club again and thought I could use a little bit more detail, so I grabbed a pure brown and uh, gave it a coat of that. 
and after seeing the results on the club I thought I'd give it a shot over the toenails and I actually really like how that came out. I then looked at the loincloth and thought uh, a pure brown wash would uh, go pretty nicely on it. However, after adding the water plus and uh, starting to paint, I realised that the, uh, the mix was just too light. So I added some dark brown into the wash mix and uh, I think the uh, result was uh, an immediate improvement. I did my best to try and make sure that the, the wash didn't pool in places. Uh, there were a couple of spots a little heavier than I would have liked, but uh, managed to fix that in the end. And the end result was a stone troll that I am really proud of. I absolutely love how this uh, this came out, watching it print and painting it, and then going back through this footage, it was actually really fun to paint. And one thing that doing this has probably given me more of a push to do is to try and use my airbrush a bit more. Because I really like the way that the, the dark tan blends into the sea green on his chest and chin area, so that's that's actually giving me more of a push to, to do things. Oh, there's a nice close up there. As I said, this is from Print My Minis. I'll put a link down to the website down below. Uh, their subscription service looks absolutely amazing, and I can't wait to see uh, the other things that they produce. Because. Uh, I'm looking at the files for the, uh, there's an, I got an ice gargantuan and um, on my printer it will take 40 hours to print all the parts out. May have to wait for that one. It's huge, there's no other words for it. Like I said, I had a lot of fun painting this one and I really like the sculpt on it. So uh, yeah, what do you guys think? Uh, something you'd enjoy painting? Do you have a printer? Would you be wanting to print this off yourself? All those standard questions for 3D printed minis. Um, let me know what you think down in the comments down below. Good, bad, indifferent. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you want to see some more. And uh, yeah, as always, I'm Gary, aka Hopeless. Thank you so much for watching. And uh, hopefully I'll see you in the next video. So until then, see ya.